feel that I'm towering over you if I stand? No. no. So I'm Susan May. I attend St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church, which is on Church Street in Kilmarnock, and we have a literacy project. Uh, hopefully you've seen some of the little free libraries around the area. When uh, in the early stages of the Little Free Library movement, people usually thought they were birdhouses. And it took a little while to educate people on what they really are. But a Little Free Library, the Little Free Library organization is actually a nonprofit. It's a 501c3. And you, when you want to launch a Little Free Library, you contact them to register it and you are assigned a unique registration number, then put on the worldwide map so that people can find your little free library. And then you also are given access to tips on where to find books, how to steward your library, how to set up your Facebook page, those sorts of things are a part of your um, package of registering the library. Now, their tagline is take a book, return a book. But as folks from this area, you know that we have a lot of people who need a lot of support. So our tagline is share the gift, pass it on. If a book is in one of our little free libraries, you don't have to put a book in to take it, and we don't really care if it comes back. Thanks to the generosity of the community, we are always able to stock it, stock our libraries with books. So the Little Free Library organization is interesting. In 2009, a man named Todd Bolt, B-O-L, built a one-room schoolhouse model. And he built it in memory of his mother, who was a school teacher and an avid reader. He put it on a pole in his front yard and put a sign on it that said free books. And he had friends and neighbors say, hey, this is really cool. Any chance you would build us one? So he was at a conference and met a man named Rick Brooks. He, this conference was at the University of Wisconsin, Madison campus. And they started looking at this idea as a social enterprise and a way to maybe formalize the little book tables you see at a coffee shop or a restaurant or a small hotel, a way to formalize that as a social enterprise. Well, as we all know, if it's a dream without a goal, nothing happens. So they set themselves a goal of building over 2,500 of these little book exchange boxes in the same way that Carnady said he was going to build over 2,500 free lending libraries in the English-speaking world back in the 20th century. So the plan was by 2013 to have 2,500 plus little free libraries out in the United States. 18 months ahead of schedule, they had 2,508. And they knew that they were really on to something. So this idea started in 2009. As of 2021, there are over 100,000 little free libraries in all 50 states and 108 countries. So sometimes the idea just has legs. And this one just had legs. So comes to St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church. A couple of us heard an NPR story about this little free library movement. We thought, wow, that sounds like a really fun way to be a good neighbor. So we uh, put some coffee on and invited people to come on a Sunday morning to hear about the project. And six people showed up, which is in small church Sunday morning world is a pretty resounding yes. And among those six people were a couple, a gentleman that said, well, we'll build the first ones. So we said, all right, here's our goal for libraries. 
two in Lancaster County, two in Northumberland County. That was in 2013. We now have 13 libraries, and we have two more that we are getting ready to launch. So again, it's just a program with legs, and it could not be any simpler. So if you've been to the dump locally, if you've been to a couple of the post office, to the YMCA, if you volunteered at the elementary school, if you've been to the playground, to the town hall, you've probably seen one of our little free libraries. And there are a couple more in the area now that have been put up independently. The um, Unitarian Church just put up one. So that was very cool. And if you go on, it's a little small, but the little free library site, there's actually a map. And one of the things that people enjoy doing is looking on the map before they go on vacation and visiting different little free libraries because they come in an astonishing variety of paint jobs and shapes. And one of ours is Oscar the Grouch. It's actually a big metal trash can with the little free library embedded in it and a big picture of Oscar the Grouch painted over it. So they're, they're interesting aesthetically too. So one of the things we learned really early on is that children love little free libraries. Adults take them a little while to warm up. Can I really open this box and just take a book for free? The children get it immediately. We couldn't make it without the people who do book donations. That's how the literacy project survives. But we realized really early on that the donations we were getting did not match our community. So the book donations for children, all of the characters were white. And that's when we decided we were more than just a little free library project. We were a literacy project. And we started learning to write grants. And we seized on this idea, um, which you've probably heard of, of windows and mirrors. That when you look at a collection of books, it should give you a window to look through onto somebody else's experience. But it should also be a mirror for you to see yourself, yourself and your experience um, positively reflected. We were not able to do that for the children of our community with the donations. So we've had success with writing um, grants and diversifying our book collection, and that's something we will really continue to do. We also have gotten some grants so that we could work with Sheriff McCraney and the local sheriff's department to purchase books and have them distribute them as a way of, of doing positive community policing, which has worked out very well. Um, like all good Presbyterian things, we have a mission statement, which I will share with you. So the St. Andrews Presbyterian Church Community Literacy Project, or Little Free Library Project, is a service project of St. Andrews Presbyterian Church with the mission of increasing access to books for all ages, inspiring a love of reading, and building community by fostering neighborhood book exchanges. Our work is an outcome of our Christian faith in which literacy and education are a part of our reformed heritage and tradition. This is an all-volunteer initiative. 